Hi there, I'm Brandy from Pepperco Digital, and in this video I'll be going over how to use page inserts in your digital planner and walk you through how to copy and paste and duplicate page inserts in Noteshelf. So let's go ahead and get started. So first let's go ahead and go over the basics of what page inserts actually are. So if you're using one of my digital planners, then I include tons of different page inserts that you can use over and over again anywhere you want in your planner. They're there for you to plan as in-depth as you need and also to keep track of uh, all different types of info. So there's a few different scenarios that you could use page inserts in. You can use them wherever they're at in your planner and just duplicate it each time you want to use it. Or you could uh, stick them after or before a specific day, week, or month page to organize them that way. Or you could insert it into a custom section that you created for a specific need. Okay, so first let's just use the example of duplicating the page where it's at in your planner. So in this specific planner that I'm using as an example, I have all these different page inserts that are categorized in these tabs and sections. And if we go to one of these tabs, there are hyperlinks to each page insert that is in this section. So in this instance, say that I don't really want to move these page inserts anywhere else. I just want to keep them within this financial section and just duplicate it and use it. So let's just go to this first one. Say I want to use this monthly budget page and I would just want to keep it within this section. So all I would have to do is duplicate it. So come up here to the little pages icon in the top right corner and then tap and hold on the page you want to copy and then tap on duplicate. So now it inserted that duplicate right after that page and you're good to go to start using it. So that is the first example of using page inserts and duplicating them in the section that they're already in. But you may find yourself in a scenario where you want to use a page insert, but you want to have it somewhere else in your planner. So in this case, what you would do is copy the page and then paste it wherever you want it. So let's go ahead and use the example of pasting pages after a specific planning page, like a monthly, weekly, or daily page. So this is nice to do if it is related to that day, week, or month that you want to be able to access it. Um, for instance, if you want to use a monthly review page, so let's go to the planning section and go to the monthly review page. Say we want to use this monthly review page, but we don't want to keep it here. We'd, we'd like to have it with the month that we're going to be using it. So all you would have to do is tap on the little pages icon again, tap and hold, and then tap on copy. So now the page is copied and all you have to do is navigate to where you want to use it. So let's go to this month, for example, say we want to use it with this month. And then there's a couple ways that you can paste the page. So I'll show you the first one. You can come up to the pages icon again, tap and hold on the page that you want to go after, and then paste below. So now it inserts that page after the month and you're good to go to start using it. Or another way you can paste it you can just come up to the little plus icon up here and then tap on the page from clipboard option and it will paste that page that you just copied behind it. So either or, it's about the same um, amount of time. It's not going to save you time either way, but those are the two options for pasting pages. So you can sort of apply this concept to any uh, planning page that you want. Say you have a really busy day and the amount of check boxes on that daily page just isn't enough and you want to be able to use this to-do list with that daily page to be able to fit all you have to do for that day. So same thing, you would just copy it and then navigate to the daily page you want to use it with and then you can either do the plus icon method or tapping on the page icon and pasting it there, but I'll just do this method, so page from clipboard. And now we have that to-do list after this daily page to be able to flip back and forth and fill out our to-do list and then flip back and fill out the rest of our daily page. So that's another example of using page inserts with planning pages, and you can do this with any page insert at any time in your planner. Okay, and the last example I wanted to show you is how you can use page inserts in custom sections. So um, I have in this specific planner that I'm using, I have six different custom sections that I can create for uh, whatever I want. So 
all I would do is go to that cover page and label what I want this section to be for. So just think of this as an actual tab divider in an actual notebook or binder. And it's a way to just separate out different page inserts for different categories of notes or you know projects or meeting notes or even things like recipes or meal planning. So for this example, let's just say we want a work project. So it's just gonna be for a work project. So we have it labeled and then we would just wanna insert our pages after this section to organize them. So let's go to the work section and I'll grab a project planner page. So I would just copy it and then go back to this section and then insert it after that. And now it's all organized with this first section that I customized to be for a work project. And then you can also, you know, grab like a note page if you want. So that you know you're gonna need some note pages for that section, you can copy your note page, come back to this section, and then say we want it after the project planner, so we would just insert it after this page. And now we are starting to build out this section of what we want um, to work on and use page inserts for and you can just insert as many pages as you need for that specific section and it's just a really easy and convenient way to organize different pages for any sort of need that you have. Okay so those are the different scenarios and examples of using your page inserts in Noteshelf and how you would duplicate them or copy and paste them wherever you want them. You can do this over and over again and it's essentially unlimited as long as you have the space available on your iPad. So uh, I hope this helped answer any questions you had about using page inserts and even the different ways you can use them. But if you still have any questions at all, just send me a message or write a comment down below and I would be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy planning.